And since there's no place to go, I got a new microphone, I got a new microphone, I got a new microphone, this is great! We're gonna do something a little bit different. Today we're gonna be unboxing my package. Not like that. I just got home and I was really excited to get home because I had just got this awesome new shipment and I was ready to open it up and tear into it. But before I opened it, I was informed by my editor that I have to make a video about it. Now this video is gonna be a little bit different than the other videos that I've made in the past. Uh, if you're subscribed to my channel, this one's just gonna be about this microphone and uh, what it means to me, what we're doing with it, and uh, hopefully that you like it. We are opening up a brand new Aston Spirit and the shock mount, it's called Aston Swift. So if you're new to the audio production world and you're thinking about jumping into the Aston Spirit and you have universal audio devices, check out my console classic sessions pack. It's the quickest way to get production ready sounds with the click of a button. So if you're gonna get a condenser mic like the Aston Spirit, you'll be able to get a production ready sound right out of the box. It's available right here. Aston Swift. Oh. Yeah, really excited about this. Big shout out to Henry from Aston Microphones. Let's get to it. So these are built in Britain. And um, all right, so I, I, I don't know. I'm super excited about this for a number of reasons. Anybody that knows me and the things that I talk about, I usually only talk about things that I really enjoy and I really like. Anyway, I'm a big supporter of warm audio microphones. I think they're great. But this one, right, is something super special. to. So if you understand warm audio, they recreate old microphones. They have older classic designs of things that have been made famous from countless records. But here's my thing. So in 2020, uh, you can buy hundreds of different clones of these old microphones. And if you have a big enough bank account to buy one of the old microphones, you can just go and get one of them. But what if you want something new? What if you want something different? Is there anything out there? Yes, there is. That is where Aston steps into the game. 30 years from now, I would be willing to bet that there's gonna be people that are gonna try to recreate these things from the ground up, very similar to the way it's at that other microphone manufacturers do right now with uh, some of the old microphones like the 251 or the, you know, the 414s, you know, all that kind of stuff. So what drew me to the Aston microphone initially is when I heard that one of my favorite artists, Noel Gallagher, he used the Aston microphones on one of his latest projects. Really kind of opened my eyes to check out some different things. And of course, I always tell people, try and audition different microphones, different sounds, different gear to find the right one for whatever sound that you're going with. And that's why we got this one today. I am gonna be using this exclusively on one of my buddy's new EPs. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. But for now, let's tear into some of this stuff. Now this one, this is a radical new design that I have never seen before for a shock mount. I like the simple packaging. So something that's cool about this, it did come with the adapter. Um, this is really cool. I like the design of this shock mount. It certainly feels stable. Now I'll have to try the microphone out in it. Yeah, this is it right here. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't think there's much more to say about this until I try out a microphone. But we conveniently have one of these. So let's tear into this guy. So one of the things that makes this mic incredibly special is that it's a completely new design. This isn't like they took a U47 or U87 capsule and tried to recreate that capsule and iconic design. They completely came up with something all on their own. That's what I think really makes this microphone stand out. In general, this is a totally new sound for making records. That's cool. That's really cool. Big thumbs up for me. See what it says here. You got waveform mesh head shock absorption for capsule protection, built-in pop filter. That is actually really cool. I, uh, that did catch my attention. Again, this is a totally new design. From what I understand, when they designed this microphone, they just had actual engineers design the mic itself, and then they had audio guys work on it and try to, you know, they kind of redesigned the design process of a microphone. I don't know. Kind of cool. All right, so let's open this up. 100% recyclable. Check this out. It says, here I am, your new baby. Now you're part of the Aston family. Don't forget to register me, please, so I get all the care I ever need. Well, thank you for reminding me. Comes with this awesome sticker, a nice thank you letter. That is something, that's a nice touch. A lot of companies don't do that, so I think that that's pretty special. Here it is. 
sealed. It's got, oh, that is neat. Now my brother's gonna love that. <laughs> it's a little pin, like a lapel pin. He has tons of them. Um, he's gonna love that. Feels nice. That's my first opinion. That's sweet. Just feels good. Here. Feels good, right? Yeah, it does look like alien technology. It looks very alien audio technology. It's got a pad here. It's got your, um, it's got your pickup pattern selector. You got a uh, omni, cardioid, and uh, bi-directional. And then you've also got a high pass filter if you so choose. They also included another little adapter right there. And then of course you can just plug your mic in like so. Some people like to throw out their boxes. I like to keep mine. I think that this is a nice little box that I could really just travel around with. So pretty handy, but this thing is like, it feels like a tank. So I'd feel pretty confident if I just traveled with it in my backpack or something like that. I know it's not gonna get banged up because I don't throw my backpack. To me, it's not so much of a disappointment that it doesn't come with a case, uh, only because of the price. I think the price is honestly cheap for what this is. This mic should be quite a bit more. And so I'm not disappointed in any way that they don't have a case. I think that that's a, I'll, I'll take the hit on that one to not have that, but to get an awesome mic. So that's really cool. But if they could find a way to maybe get one in there, that, that'd certainly be a plus. I also really like this. I like that I can just set it down like that. Like the WA-47, like I can't just set that somewhere. I have to set it on its side. So this just being a regular condenser mic, you don't need a external power supply. You can use the one that's uh, complimentary on your interface. Uh, you just need phantom power, 48 volts. So it's kind of cool that you don't have to travel around with anything else. One thing that does surprise me on this is when you look at it in pictures, it almost seems like this little part right here, it almost seems like that might be like styrofoam. It's actually a really nice like metal fiber mesh thing. I don't know, again, it's like alien technology, but it's really nice. There isn't a single thing about this that feels low budget. I don't know how the heck they managed to make this thing so affordable and so high quality, so this is awesome. So real quick, since we just brought up the affordability of it, let's talk about the price. It retails right at $449, which is an incredible value. But that being said, it's not really, I wouldn't say that it's comparable to any other mic. Again, it's a new design. You kind of can't really compare it to like a U87 or like a Perception. It's its own thing. And again, I think that that really brings its own added value to it. And I also think that that makes it really shine. In the price category of what you'd find for something like this, I mean, there's a number of mics out there that you might find that price-wise is gonna be similar. Um, overall design and thought process into what this is, I don't know that you'd find many things that would compare. In this price point of microphones at around $450, $500, you'll find a lot of emulations of classic microphones, like the Avantone Pro CV12, that's, a, that's another clone. Um, you'll have the, the Warm Audio WA-14, that's a 414-style clone. So another, another microphone in that general vicinity is a really popular microphone, the SM7B. Now, I use the SM7B all the time. I love it. I think it's a fantastic microphone and I think that it has its purposes in a ton of applications. How I personally use it, I think it's absolutely awesome in where I'm at, which is a very noisy, concrete room. And I use it for demo vocals most of the time, but for the right voice, for the right setting, it might be the mic that you want to use. This one is going to be used in treated room situations uh, for the most part and I'll probably use it on some acoustic guitars. Definitely going to be using it on male vocals and female vocals and any other thing that I might be able to get creative with. But I know those situations I'm going to use it on a lot. Why would I go with this guy over something like the SM7B? Again, it's the situation. I think if I'm going to be in a controlled environment and I want really nice vocals to shine, I'm probably going to try this mic and audition maybe one other mic, maybe something like a tube style mic. See what I get, see which one I like the most. This really is meant to be in one of those controlled environment situations, in something like a vocal booth or in a nice studio where it has that nice controlled sound, because this thing is gonna be really sensitive as compared to something like the SM7B, which has an incredibly low floor noise um, and incredibly low output overall to where if you're in this really loud, noisy room, you have to be right up on the microphone in order to get that sound. Some people like to use like a cloud lifter even to get even more gain out of it. Trying to make some comparisons there in the price point category of the 400 to 500 
you know, area. Really tough to compare something like this SM7B to this, um, just because one's a broadcast style dynamic mic and then the other one's gonna be like a regular condenser mic. Two totally different microphones, totally different applications ideally. Actually one that Aston makes that would be really comparable to SM7B is the Aston Stealth. That is a broadcast style dynamic mic. Now this, from what I understand about this mic, it has its own shock absorbing-esque thing going on with the mic capsule. So that's why they have this mount directly on the mic, which is kind of cool. A lot of mics don't have that. So that's a nice touch, um, but I know me and I'm kind of crazy about my stuff. So I'm still going to be using it with shock mount. And this is certainly an awesome design. I love the speed of it. This video has just kind of been off the top of my head. So I haven't had a chance to really sit down and really think some of the things through, but in the first five minutes of holding it, I think it's fantastic. It feels nice and weighty, feels great. But a final thought to kind of wrap this up, if you're looking for that next step in your microphone journey and your production journey, you really want to up your game, you want to take that next step. This would be a fantastic mic, or even if it's your first step, this would be a fantastic mic. I, I think that the, the price point is absolutely phenomenal for it. And the other thing too is the built-in mesh feature and the Shock absorption also saves you a bit of headache from having to get one of these. You don't necessarily need that. So you kind of you kind of save yourself a little bit and you can kind of get away with not having one there. And then on top of that, you also save yourself from one of these. So it's an awesome tool. It's an awesome tool to just pick this up. I don't know if I have time to turn it on and play around with it tonight, but so I'm headed out to a studio tomorrow and I'm more than likely gonna use this during the tracking. So I'll have more feedback on it in the very new near future. If you guys wanna see me use this microphone in action in a video, leave a comment below and let me know how you'd like me to use this in a video. If you wanna watch me use it with vocals, if you wanna uh, see what it's like with an acoustic guitar, maybe an electric guitar, um, let, me, let me know and I'll, I'll certainly be more than happy to make a video on it. But for now, again, big shout out to the guys at Aston Microphones and a big thank you to Henry from Aston Microphones. Can't tell you how great this is going to be for me. So um, thanks, guys.